um, there arrived a machine that at first I could only see through the glass window and they called it a uh, uh, computer. Uh, and uh, I think it was actually called the IBM 650 Univac, actually, <laughs> it was a funny name because Univac was a competing brand. Um, and uh, one night a guy showed me uh, how it worked and, uh, and, and gave me a chance to look at the manual. And uh, it was love at first sight. I, I, I could sit all night with that machine and play with it. And uh, uh, the, and uh, so I, I wrote my first programs for that machine in, um, I think it was the, uh, oh, well, let me see. Uh, actually, to be exact, the first programs I, I wrote for the machine were not in machine language, but in a, in a system called the Bell Interpretive System, um, which, which uh, was like, uh, it was, it was all, it was something like this. You have an instruction it would, and, uh, and the instruction would say, um, add, uh, add the number in, in cell two to the number in cell 15 and put the result in cell 30. And we had instructions like that. A uh, bunch of them. Uh, and and uh, this would, and, uh, and this uh, 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 with a simple, way to learn programming. In fact, I, I, I still believe that uh, it's, it might be the best way to teach people programming instead of teaching them uh, uh, what we call a high-level language now, uh, right now. Certainly it's, a, it's something that uh, I could, you can easily teach to a fourth or fifth grader uh, who hasn't had algebra yet uh, and get the idea of what a machine is. I was pledging a fraternity and uh, one of my fraternity brothers did, um, didn't want to do his homework assignment where he was supposed to uh, find the roots of a fifth degree equation. And so I looked at some textbooks and it told me how to solve a fifth degree equation. I programmed it in this Bell interpretive language and I, I wrote the program. And uh, uh, my memory uh, is that it worked correctly the first time. I don't know if I really gave the right answers, but. Uh, but uh, uh, miraculously, uh, it ground out uh, these numbers, and uh, and my fraternity brother passed his course, and I got into the fraternity, and uh, and and that was my first uh, little, little program. Then I wrote, then I learned about the machine language inside the inside the 650, and uh, and I and I wrote my first uh, uh, program for the 650 probably in the in the spring of my freshman year, uh, and debugged it at night and, and uh, I believe that th when I first wrote the pr the first time I wrote the program it was about it was about um, 60 in 60 instructions long in machine language it was a uh, program to find the prime factors of a number you, you, you 650 was a machine that had decimal arithmetic uh, work with 10 digit numbers and and uh, you could dial the numbers on the console of the machine so so you would dial a a 10 digit number and my program would uh, go into action and it would punch out cards that would say what are the what are the factors of this of this uh, number that that you dialed in there uh, computer was a very slow computer uh, it, it in order to do a division instruction it took five milliseconds um, uh, right now I'll I, th I don't know, is that six orders of magnitude slower, <laughs> slower than, than today's machines uh, to do division? Um, and of course, uh, the way I did factoring was, was by division. I had to see if a number was divisible by 13, I had to divide by 13, and then I had to divide by seven, well, I, I, I divided by 15 as well, 17, 19, and uh, it, would, it would try to, it would, it would try to uh, find everything that divided. And if I started out with a, with the with a big ten digit number that happened to be prime have no divisors at all, I think it would take fifteen or twenty minutes uh, to, uh, be, for my program to uh, to to decide. Um, I, and not only did my program have about sixty or so instructions when I started, they were almost all wrong. And when I finished, 
it was about 120, 130 instructions. So I had, I had made more errors in this, in this program than there were lines of code. Uh, uh, one of the things that I, uh, that I had to change, for example, that took, that took a lot of work was I, I had originally thought I could get all the prime factors um, onto one card. But you could only, but a card had 80 columns and you could get 10 digits, uh, uh, you know, I mean, each number took 10 digits, so I could only get eight factors on a, on a single card. Well, uh, uh, you take a number like two to the 32nd power, that's gonna take four cards because there's two times two times two times two. Uh, it's gonna, it ha uh, so I had to put in lots of extra stuff in my program that would handle these cases uh, besides making that. So, I, so, I, so my first program was very, uh, um, uh, it, it, it taught me a lot about the, uh, about the errors that I was gonna be uh, making in the future and uh, also about how to find errors. And uh, that's sort of the, the story of my life is uh, making errors and trying to recover from them.